Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan and yes we are here today to talk about the cheapest IPS monitor in the market. So meron po tayo dito ang Asus VP21. VG249Q1R Ang hirap i-memorize sa mga model ng monitors <laughs> Asus is actually very confusing yung mga binibigyan nilang mga models lately And uh, ayun nga, parang uh, recently meron silang VP Then eto ngayon meron sila ng tough variant Improved with a 165Hz uh, refresh rate 1ms uh, MPRT response time And yes, IPS And with tough label. Ngayon pag-uusapan natin to monitor together with a very specific topic, ang 60 hertz versus higher refresh rates like 165 hertz. Since 165 hertz po ang ating monitor sample ngayon, yun po yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ano ba yung difference? Since lately marami pa rin tayo naririnig na wala namang masyadong difference ang normal na typical monitor sa mga gaming monitor na yan. So, it's better to just settle down with the 60 hertz kahit na 1660 Super or 5600 XT yung ating video card. Pero, ayun yung mga kaibigan, lilinawin at ipapakita ko po sa inyo with a few simulations and at the same time, syempre, a bit detailed kung gaano ba kalaki yung difference. Alam kong marami na rin siguro kayo nakita or maybe na view Pero at least this time, it will be a bit more local yung approach dahil idedetalye po natin dito sa ating channel. And yes, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe dahil pag-uusapan din natin dito or if feature din natin dito sa video na to ang difference ng isang IPS monitor cheapest from top model versus the cheapest 144Hz monitor na TN panel. So, it's more on the IPS versus TN uh, difference. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so before we'll be jumping to the topic 60Hz versus 144Hz, 165Hz, TN versus IPS, let's move on first dito sa ating mismong sample which is the VG249Q1R. And yes, this monitor is a 165Hz improved versus dun sa 144Hz na VP24 na nirelease nila last year which is at a price point of 10,000 plus. And ito rin is nasa 10,950 to 11,000. I'm sorry, it's 11,950 po. Medyo mas mahal lang ng 1,000 plus. Pero very worth it dahil 165Hz na po yung kanyang refresh rate. At the same time, it comes with a better base in terms of structure, meron siyang aluminum base, mas sturdy compared before. Yung monitor nga lang is just the same like any uh, budget monitors na pwede mo lang siyang itilt. Pero hindi mo na siya matitilt sideways and hindi mo na rin siya may adjust yung height. So yun yung kumbaga downside in terms of budget monitors na gaming. Pero in the end of the day, the panel is still very good. Yun naman yung pinaka-importante dito. So kung gusto nyo pong maka-experience ng better setup ng gaming monitor or better design, then you may uh, spend higher at around 15K. Medyo malayo na po yung price or check other brands. Pero of course, if you want the best from Asus, this is the cheapest that they can offer. Pero moving on in terms of structural features, meron pa rin naman po siyang dalawang HDMI and of course, one display port. Nagustuhan ko rin yung pag-position nila ng HDMI at saka yung mga ports dahil nga po nasa likod po siya and hindi po siya downward. Advisable lang kasi yung downward na setup kung yung monitor is adjustable or kung yung mismong mga ports is medyo malayo po sa base. Pero given this, na medyo malapit na po sa pinaka base or bottom part ng monitor yung uh, ports, it's better na outward po yung kanyang position para mas madali nating itago yung mga kable. 
pangit na may mga nakalawit na kable na nakikita mo dun sa uh, ibaba ng monitor mo. And then, pagdating naman po sa kanyang uh, OSD Borons, maganda rin po kasi ang ginamit na nila is joystick. So, it's a bit uh, easier or far easier actually dahil hindi mo na kailangan kumaka pa ng mga buttons sa likod. Especially kung yung monitor mo na is naka-fix or naka-mount na siya, medyo hassle. Mas maganda kung joystick para at is, uh, iisa lang yung pinipindot mo. And then, the speaker is also positioned well at the bottom part of the panel which is mas maganda pong malayo compared po dun sa mismong likod to cut it short, mas maganda yung kanyang clarity compared sa facing backwards so it's a good move done by Asus with this monitor and it's really good na meron siyang speakers even it's the cheapest monitor out there in the market from this brand and then of course meron siyang AMD FreeSync Adaptive Sync, so ibig sabihin uh, G-Sync compatible kung NVIDIA po yung gamit natin. Video card, we also tested that and yes, it's compatible naman po siya. And then the other features are the 1MS uh, response time, ELMB features which is uh, hindi ko masyadong pag-uusapan dito sa video na to dahil uh, I think that feature is not really, kumbaga, hindi natin masyadong matatake advantage especially that medyo mababa po yung brightness ng ating monitor and it's given na uh, budget monitor lang siya so we will not be expecting na ito yung mga monitor na merong HDR features like those counterparts sa higher end models so yung ELMB feature is just parang kumbaga additional na lang siguro optional para sa'yo pero uh, medyo magiging dark kasi yung uh, brightness bababa yung brightness ng monitor mo pag i-enable mo yung ELMB feature so I don't really advise and medyo hindi ko na rin siya masyadong i-highlight dito sa video na to keep posted sa ating susunod na video with a worth 25k monitor maybe this week this coming week or next month doon natin mas i-highlight po yung ELMB feature pero the thing that maybe I can suggest is yung shadow boost feature which is uh, pwede yung uh, i-enable Maganda kasi siyang gamitin especially if you are playing games na medyo dark yung uh, atmosphere or yung ambience like uh, Mafia or Max Payne. May Max Payne pa ba ngayon? Hindi ako sanay sa mga uh, dark environment na gameplay. So Max Payne. Max Payne, yes. I think Max Payne yun eh. Yung nagpapasuka sa akin dati. Skipping that, this monitor overall is very good dahil worth 11,000 and you will have the experience of having an IPS and a 165Hz monitor. If you remember mga kaibigan, we also featured in this channel, way back nung nagsisimula pa lang ako, the cheapest IPS monitor from Asus which is yung VG or uh, 27 inches IPS na worth 20k. VG279 I think yung model po nun. And uh, that was the cheapest before na 144Hz monitor and IPS din at the same time. Kasi back then, 5 years ago or 4 years ago, kadalasan ng mga IPS na high refresh rate is nasa around 30K, um, mga 25K ganyan. And uh, it was shocking na merong worth 20K. Pero ngayon, ang bilis ng panahon, Two years later, three years later, meron ng worth 10K na lang makakapag-IPS monitor ka na. Kung gustong pong bumili ng gaming monitor at the same time you will be using for uh, multimedia works, then I think you may consider this monitor. Kung gaming lang talaga and you ha have a very tight budget, then settle down with uh, the TN panel of ViewSonic. Pero if you want a gaming monitor na ayun, Everything is there. You will appreciate the uh, good um, color of gameplay ng isang RPG game, MMO game. Then, settle down with this. Because you can also, kasi nga, you will also have the best in terms of competitive games dahil 165Hz na po siya. Well, you can have that experience din naman sa isang TN panel sa mas muro pang halaga. Pero niya, tulad ng sinabi ko, paano kung mag edit ka rin? Paano kung gagawa ka rin ng mga Photoshop or gagamitin mo rin yung monitor with an RPG games? Or maybe, baka naman gusto mo yung pinakamura pero kaya mo namang i-stretch pa yung budget mo at around 11,000 plus. Then, this is the best that I may recommend for you 
pagdating sa budget pero may peace of mind ka sa binili mong monitor. Moving on, let's go to the part of 60Hz versus 165Hz. Well, instead of using the UFO benchmark na kadalasan nating ginagawa, I use actual gameplay na lang para mas madali nating may pakita sa inyo yung real-world experience of what may happen kung gagamitin natin is mismong uh, game. So, before we will be going or talking about the details, watch this video first. It's a murder. Disrespect is, I'm a spark it, I'm a burn em. And I'll be searching, I'll be lurking, I'm a hurt em. And all these bridges that I'm building, I'm a burn em. Burn em. Burn em. Burn em. Alright, so as you have seen sa ating video, medyo may mga ilan sa atin siguro na hindi pa nakagamit ng 165Hz or high refresh rates monitor, medyo na-confuse sila. Parang sasabihin nila sa una na, Teka lang ah, parang mas okay pa yung 60Hz kaysa dun sa 165Hz. Dun sa pinost mong part ng video, parang blurred naman yung 165Hz tapos yung 60Hz, ayun. Detailed na kagad yung pinakita. Eto kasi yun mga kaibigan. Yes, if we will be talking about dun sa naipost na part. Pero, when we move on, dun na sa mismong gameplay, dun na sa mismong tumatakbo na yung uh, sasakyan, look at the pavement. Look at the roadside. Alin ang mas smooth. And look at the gameplay itself. Mapapansin niyo mga kaibigan, parang may mga frame skipping. Parang alam mo yung biglang tumatalon yung kabila. Samantala yung kabila, smooth lang. Yun yung makikita nyo yung difference. Mas, mari, mas makikita nyo yung pagiging smooth, mas realistic, na kumbaga naiimagine nyo yun pag nakasakay kayo sa isang sasakyan. Of course, high refresh rate will be taken advantage more in terms of competitive games like shooting games, CSGO. So, we also tried to do a simulation. And makikita nyo po dyan na yung pagiging smooth, kumbaga, there will be chances na pag sakaling 165Hz ang gamit mo, mas magiging vivid kaagad yung makikita mo, mas mauuna mo kaagad mahahagilap yung character or yung target mo pag 165Hz compared sa 60Hz. There will be instances during gaming. Kaya nga minsan, ang mangyayari dyan, pag naka 165Hz yung kalaro mo or yung kalaban mo, medyo may unfair advantage siya sa'yo. Like for example, with this, dito, kumbaga, yung target nagpakita. Okay, sabihin na lang nating sabay nagpakita yung target. Pero kung naka 165 hertz ka kasi, mas accurate na yung makikita mo. Higher chance na maging headshot yung uh, shooting mo compared sa isang 60 hertz. Other than that, going to dun sa ating unang simulation kanina, yung pagiging smooth ng gameplay ang magiging total difference compared sa 165 hertz sa 165 hertz details by details ang makikita mo compared sa 60 hertz na may mga frames na hindi mo makikita or may mga movements na hindi mo makikita dahil nga very low yung refresh rate ng monitor mo and yes sir 
Dati naman, hindi naman big deal yan eh. 2008, naglalaro na ako ng CSGO. Bakit hindi naman ganun katindi yung mga ganyan? Well, that is way back then. Pero today, na ang kadalasang mga video cards natin or yung mga mid-range or higher-end video cards natin are capable of rendering uh, high uh, frames per second, mas maganda na rin na dapat higher refresh rate monitors na rin yung gagamitin. Nag-evolve na yung panahon to bring more detailed, more smooth gaming experience and realistic gaming experience tumaas na yung mga refresh rate or yung mga frames per second na kayang render ng mga video card. Kaya naman, tumaas na rin yung mga requirements in terms of monitor. Alright, so hopefully nasagot ko po sa inyo mga kaibigan kung ano po yung pagkakaiba ng 60Hz versus 165Hz. Bakit po natin tinakal dito sa ating channel or sa ating video na to? Bakit ko nga po pala in-include ito sa ating video regarding the VG249Q1R. Dahil nga po, this is the cheapest monitor. This is most likely targeting those guys or yung mga ilan sa atin who are planning to buy or to move on sa higher refresh rate monitors. And this is the recommended na pwede ko pong i-offer sa inyo. Na kahit paano, kumbaga, meron akong kampante. Well, uh, in this channel, I gave you alternatives na bang for the back monitors pero sometimes I'm just telling you that this is a good buy dahil mura siya, sulit siya and well, decent din naman yung brand pero in terms of recommendation, this will be the first time that I will have this peace of mind na hindi rin ako mapapahiya kung ito yung i-recommend ko sa inyo and for the first time the first video of this year video 249Q1R is the monitor that I may recommend well That's it mga kaibigan for more videos like this. Feel free to subscribe if you want more videos about gaming monitors or if you have more questions about gaming monitors, feel free to comment down below and iti-check or itatakal po natin yan sa ating mga susunod na video for the cheapest IPS gaming monitor that you may have. <music>